We're previewing week three in the NFL here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak, and we're talking right now with Swingin' Johnson, who is uh, intended to provide some comedic relief in the, in the midst of all these uh, NFL videos that we do. But Swingin's actually given some good advice in these first two weeks in the NFL. Swingin, thanks for being here. Loshak, always a pleasure, baby. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, I, I haven't, uh, your, your advice in general, I haven't, I haven't gone back and like looked at every pick you gave us, but my sense is it's roughly 50-50, right, so far? How and, you, uh, you know, minus the VIG, we're still behind, but we're trying. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right, well, I uh, assigned you one really tough game here this week. Atlanta at San Diego. San Diego's a three-point home favorite, and I guess that just speaks to how both teams don't appear to have any glaring weaknesses at the moment. I have to pick this game in the, uh, in the Heritage Contest, so I have to pick a straight-up winner, and I'm assuming I'm going to pick San Diego here, although Atlanta, of course, they're awesome. They were expected to be a deep playoff team this year. They're also very notoriously good going on the road to the West Coast under Mike Smith. They're 5-0. and He has a very specific way of preparing them for it, and uh, it definitely gets results. I guess just overall, I mean, I, I can't really identify a weakness with Atlanta, but I think I would lean towards San Diego minus three because they, San Diego, for the first time, has great team chemistry, and that really matters, and I think they'll get a home win here. What do you think? Well, you know, I, I'd like to be contrarian just for the sake of a uh, little controversy right. here, but it's it's kind of frightening how, uh, how, how much on the same page you and I seem to be. You know, <laughs> I have come to this show prepared, and I am going to blow you away with some mind-numbing and many would say meaningless statistics. Okay. But I think, Lojack, deep down inside, in places we don't want to talk about, you know, we grudgingly believe that stat guys are smart and they're always on the right side. And I'm going to give you yeah. a few stats on this game, okay? okay. All right. Since 1980, teams that are 2-0 and off a Monday night win and headed into the third week of the seasons are 8-1 and straight up and 7-1-1 one and against the number when facing a fellow 2-0 and opponent in game three of the season. Wow. Now, that, that would favor Atlanta after they beat Denver 27-21 on Monday night. But, you know, I mean, they, they say if you torture the numbers long enough, they'll confess to almost anything. Sure. That stat has about as much bearing on this game as what color – thong that you're traipsing in right about now and <laughs> i don't know that sounds like a pretty you know, legit stat you're, to me you're though. nothing if not a traipser we know that about you why do you think that stat has as much bearing as uh, what color thong i'm wearing i think that stat is a pretty significant stat what do you think well why i'm not? saying that it, it doesn't see now we're having a little bit of uh now we're having a little disagreement and this is where it gets yeah. good because i think that most of these guys that are playing weren't even around in 1980 right so i think that the the stat that is actually more telling might be the stat that says atlanta coach mike smith mike smith is 0 and 7 straight up and against the spread in his career when his teams come into a game as an underdog off back-to-back -back wins hmm. now yeah yeah i mean it's kind of an interesting stat but you know you have to i'm like you low shack i'm thinking to myself okay well that's really cool but but what does it mean i mean does it mean that he gets Comfortable? Does he give the guys a bit more right. slack in practice? Uh, you know, I'm just trying to figure out what 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 do you what do you make of that? Well, first of all, okay, actually, I've been having a debate uh, with a guy on YouTube about this exact issue uh, about their their what what we were talking about here is data mined trends or data mined statistics that are descriptive, and we're trying to ascribe predictive value to them, which is a very treacherous thing to do. But I, and I know I'm going to get slammed for this right now. I think exactly what you said is the important issue: is you. Ask yourself, what is it that's been causing that trend? Is it a fundamental factor? And is that fundamental factor still uh, in play in the game that you're analyzing? And sometimes I'd say the answer is yes. Now, stat guys would, would call me just a classic moron, and maybe they're right. But uh, I don't know. I, well, what about the fact that Mike Smith, though, is 5-0 and when he goes to the West Coast? I mean, that's a pretty significant stat, too, right? I mean, that is this coach, and that does have underlying reasons because he has a very specific way of preparing them for West Coast games. Exactly. And I think that's why, you know, sometimes you can look at the uh, stats as kind of an ancillary um, aspect to the whole thing. But I think that, you know, when, I, when I'm looking at this game, look, I've been touting San Diego as my team to win the AFC West since the preseason mm -hmm. began, which certainly isn't a big leap of faith considering, you know, the talent that they have, but they have failed miserably the past two years with all that talent. Now, North Turner, okay, isn't going to get a, uh, a fourth bite at the apple on this thing. This is his third time, and if he flames out, he's gone. So I'll tell you, this is the last stat I'm going to give you on this game. Okay. San Diego 
is 11 and one straight up and 10 and two against the number on their home field in games off back to back wins. And I, the way I look at this, Low Shack, is Matty Ice from Atlanta is going to have to launch early and often because the Falcons' running game is ranked 26th, and they're just not going to run the ball against a Charger defense that rank, that currently ranks first in the NFL. Now I know it's a, a a very small you know sample of games, two games, but you know that the Chargers, just looking back the last couple of years, they have a good stop unit, a very very good stop unit. I think what's going to happen here is is uh, Maddie's going to become predictable. He's going to fire away, fire away, ultimately turn the ball over. San Diego's going to have prime field position, and they've got Phillip Rivers in the pocket. I, I, say, I say lay the three. Man, that, that's what I think, too. Sween, where are you getting all these stats from? You don't have a database at your house on your computer, right? <laughs> where, where'd you, where'd you, you really did your freaking homework. Oh, where'd you just, just very quickly? we got to wrap this call up, but where'd these stats come from? Um, just, you know, I mean, hey, you know, there's a magic box and it says Google. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm agreeing with you, Swingin'. Is that good or a bad sign? I don't know, but that's we both like San Diego minus three. Thanks, Swingin'. My pleasure.